With the latest from News 4 Jax, I'm Mary Bear. We've learned one of the rides at the Jacksonville Fair is not cooperating after failing an inspection. The Dizzy Dragons ride, as similar to the spinning teacups at Disney, it failed the inspection and it failed, we're told, due to a list of problems that could compromise rider safety. Fair executives say they plan to have it undergo inspection sometime tomorrow before the fair opens, hopefully allow it to pass. Some residents in Nassau County are expressing their concerns over burning debris in the county. Some who live in the southern part of Amelia Island, the Harbor Concourse area, are complaining of lung problems from smoke. Tonight, Nassau County commissioners voted 3-2 to two to pass a memorandum to help move the smoke away from residents with a number of rules developers must adhere to, including having a permit to burn and not burning within 700 feet of an occupied building. And a Jacksonville City Council member, along with the, Jack, the chairman of the Jacks Chamber and a former Jacksonville mayor, are calling for the City Council to postpone an upcoming vote to remove a Confederate monument in a Springfield Park. Three council committees voted last week against paying $1.3 million to have the statue removed, and the full council is expected to follow suit tomorrow night. Councilman Matt Carlucci, who supported the removal of the statue, sent an email to Council President Sam Newby today saying he wants to make a motion to postpone the vote until March 22nd. Always the latest news online at newsforjax.com.